Hey guys, today we have a little bit of a different video. This video came out a little bit ago, probably a month or so, and it says, Investigation. How Roblox is exploiting young game developers. And this video has gotten a little bit of media coverage and a lot of people talking about it. It went pretty viral on YouTube. And uh, I, I just feel like everyone in Roblox, like us developers, need to kind of share opinions on it, okay? By no means is this video screaming Roblox is the best platform ever and has never done anything wrong, but I do feel like there needs to be two sides to this argument. So without further ado, let's hop on into it right now. Stunning things about Roblox. Three stunning you things. about Roblox, today it is the most popular video game in the US. First, it's Roblox is a platform, not a video game. I don't know if he's gonna fix that, but uh, and Europe, yeah, it's a whole platform. 200 million, mostly young people every month. Roblox is more of a creative Fair. platform than a game. There we go. It's a downloadable portal to a <laughs> staggering quantity of multiplayer games of all different genres that are all just a little bit floaty and jank. Pause, pause. This isn't even the main point of the video, but to say that are all, he didn't say some, uh, that are all a bit floaty and janky. Uh, I guess that depends what type or what side of Roblox you play on. There's a ton of high quality games as well. Of course, most games are made by people that are not professional developers. I'm not a professional developer. Um, but to call them all floaty and janky is just kind of... That's because anybody rude. can download Roblox and use its free tools and free hosting to start making and monetizing Big point right games. there. And the free tools and free hosting. have done just that. Where today, Steam hosts almost 55,000 games. Roblox hosts more than 20 million experience. This is true. Um, I would say it works a little differently though. Uh, I don't know if Roblox counts this, but every time you make an account on Roblox, so anyone who's ever made an account, they do get a game. Like, you automatically have made a Roblox game right when you make an account. Uh, it's like your username and it says like, for example, Robuilders Place, you know? So, I don't, uh, I think that this is a bit, uh, I don't even know the right word for it, but, but that is not entirely accurate. Which is what Roblox calls games because, legally speaking, it can't admit to selling games within Apple's App Store as that would make it a game shop this, within a game shop. This is true. So, those three things I learned that made me do the internet equivalent of a double take. One, all of Roblox's developers do earn a cut of the revenue of everything they create. Yep. But that cut is shockingly small. To put it in perspective, Steam catches heat from game developers for taking 30% of every sale, while Epic and Microsoft's PC store take just 12%. Roblox claims that developers receive around 24.5% of any sale, although as we'll soon see, in reality, they get even less. So I think this is pretty important. Roblox developers do get a a pretty low cut, but I'm not sure how these other things work. Like Steam, I'm not sure if they, you know, for free host your your game, if they give you everything you need to make a game, like Roblox has so much that is just like targeted towards new developers, like things that help someone who has no idea what they're doing to make an entire game. So like, you need to take all that into account as well. I don't know exactly what Steam has, uh, to help the developers. The second thing I saw, when Roblox went public on the stock market this year, it was valued at a staggering Sheesh. $41 billion. That's my a boy. Value somewhere between Nintendo and Electronic Arts. Roblox is now worth seven Ubisoft and three. I don't know why that's a, uh, why this is a key factor here. In the words of Roblox's own vice president of marketing, Tammy Barmick, from the very beginning, it was about having kids develop games for other kids. I think, okay, let, let's let's check this These out. What's he saying on this? These kids are not just hobbyists. They're doing real work that is driving the value of one of the biggest video game publishers in here. Pause. Um, a lot, a lot of the, uh, the kids he's talking about are actually hobbyists that are trying to learn how to make games on the Roblox platform. Of course, like, like, I guess, I mean, I'm not a kid, but he would be talking about me. So someone that's not a hobbyist and someone that is trying to make money through making games is me. And uh, most kids, once they get in that mindset, okay, I can use this platform, I can make games and I can make money. Uh, if they can make that realization, they can definitely make the realization that says, hey, 
Roblox isn't isn't giving me enough, I'm going to jump ship and go to Steam or any other platform that you can make your own games. Obviously, there's a reason that we are all staying on a Roblox, okay? So, I don't uh I don't really agree with the point that that these kids are are not hobbyists because that's what all of us are. Like, if we were professional game developers, we would have everything ourselves, hosting platforms. We'd have our own, you know, websites and own everything like that. Maybe even physical copies of games. Who knows? But I think um, all of us, until we're a huge development team, are hobbyists that are looking to make money. Not, uh, like, none of us are professional game developers. That's, that's all I got to say on that one. History. But with a cut that's just one third of the industry standard and nobody looking out for their health. We <sighs> like who who's supposed to look out for our health, guys? Roblox is a massive platform. You know who looks out for your health when you're a child? Your parents. OK, when I'm sitting down here all day long, not anymore. But when I was younger, if I'm sitting on my computer all day long, my mom's going to come downstairs and be like, hey, you got to hop off of that. OK, it's not good for your health. This is not even a fair point in my opinion your parents are supposed to be the ones looking out for your health and looking out for you overall in general so i don't think it's fair to say roblox is using kids to make games so roblox gets a bunch of money kids get nothing and kids are uh, uh what, what is he trying like <laughs> i don't know dude i don't know your parents are supposed to look out for you not a huge corporation we had to ask, is the next generation of video game developers being exploited before they've even finished secondary? I I just don't know how how can we say they're being exploited when they're getting something from it. I understand that Roblox gives developers a cut that's very low, but you're still earning something from it and you're learning a lot. Like it, I finished all school, okay? I didn't go to college, but I finished all school and then high school, blah blah blah. None of that taught me how to make money. At least on Roblox, I'm learning things that are actually going to be valuable, whether that's, you know, in game development, in marketing, in growing uh, a fan base, which is the same as like growing, for example, an email list where you can then promote your products, I suppose. Like, like Roblox has already taught me more about making money than school ever has. Oh, Kaneko got a little shout out. <laughs> But before we look at how Roblox treats its workers, first we have to look at how we're not even Roblox's workers. Roblox turns its young users into workers in the first place. So, all right, the good I'm thing about interested. Roblox, as I've said, he's got me hooked. The tools are free. The hosting's free. The tools actually let you skip with the traditional learning curve associated with 3D exactly. modeling. Exactly. And Roblox even so, handles moderation of your players for you. I want to like kind of hit on those. Roblox does make a lot of stuff way easier than other platforms. And like he said, handles moderation. Um, these are two huge things that if you were a company by yourself making your own game, you would have to pay for. So when Roblox is like taking that a good cut of your money, they're also doing a good cut of your work. Um, so I think that's a fair point to make. But people just using these free tools to get creative doesn't make Roblox any money. In fact, it loses the money because servers are expensive, which Fair. is why the moment that Roblox's core player base of 9 to 15 year olds start playing, they are submerged in this idea that they could be an entrepreneur. Huh. After all, it's impossible to play Roblox without making other Roblox users richer because you're buying passes for their experiences. You're buying their cosmetics. I will say this uh, to that point. Um, when I was new to Roblox, I didn't think about like, like I bought game passes, but when I bought a game pass, my first thing in my head wasn't, oh, I'm giving this person money. In fact, when I started playing Roblox, and I don't know if this is the same for everyone else, uh, I started playing when I was pretty young though, um, I just thought it was a site that made a bunch of games. I had no idea that there were people just like me making games and making money. When I was buying game passes and everything, I didn't have a single thought in my head that says, oh, I just gave so-and-so 50 Robux, you know? So I don't think that this is a fair point. Um, I, I can't really agree with that one when I was when I was younger I definitely didn't even think about who was getting the money uh, or even that it was a person like myself like just a normal person that didn't really um, you know develop I didn't really think about that but we're just getting started the tabs right. at the top of roblox.com are basically find games find cosmetics and yep. start making stuff yourself 
But if kids Create. click on that, they see make anything, reach millions of players, and earn serious cash. Create a I do think um, this earn serious cash thing was removed. Oh, of course I can't see it anymore because I'm not on a new account. But I do believe after this video came out, uh, earn serious cash was removed. Now, that is a little misleading. Creators like you are getting paid for what they love to do. Our top developers are earning over $2 million a year by prov providing inexperienced purchases. So, obviously, it does say our top developers. It doesn't say, hey, we have millions of developers and a lot of them are struggling. Uh, so this is a bit misleading and I will give them that point. It says like you, it says, are being paid for what they love to do. They are. If you go to Roblox's YouTube channel, the first videos you see are about successful game development. In general, Roblox's PR department. Who wants to hear a story about a, a developer that failed? Like what a, <laughs> what company, like bro, say, okay, I own the role builder company, all right? Guys, look at this article I wrote about the the worst video that this person who works at Road Builder ever made. Who cares, man? We we need to see wins. We don't want to see all the fails. Loves shining a light on the game's younger success stories. The official Roblox tutorials and the game's support website both assume you want help with monetization. And if you go to education.roblox.com, which contains lesson plans for educators, one of the lessons is how to earn money. So, his his main argument in the video so far is that Roblox is exploiting young game developers, and then he shows that Roblox is trying to help developers make money? That, I, I don't know, maybe I'm reading it wrong, but Roblox, yes, they take a cut, do they deserve that cut? Yes. As big of a cut as they get? Well, probably not. But they are helping younger developers and uh, showing them how to monetize. If Roblox was exploiting young game developers, as the title says, I feel like they would just have them make games. Uh, and then why would they tell them how to monetize? Um, I, I don't know. I feel like Roblox probably gets something just from people In playing Roblox. games, like visiting or the site, the seeing ads, etc. I, I saw other big games. I saw other developers getting money in a way that looked easy so i'm i'm sorry bro things have things have went crazy if, if i was an 11 year old which i was at one point there was no time that i thought of oh my gosh i don't even know who a, a big game developer would have been by then it probably would have been the uh the survive the natural disasters but by no means did i think that that was a, a person like me um uh, also i have a hard time when younger kids are on videos like this because they they could be uh like coerced to say something like not saying they were but they could be so i, I are any of these i need like an really older person earning serious just cash? to just to know well where the average indie game on steam makes seven another thing is they didn't show the question he asked the kid like some questions are just $4, real misleading dollars the vast majority of game sorry experiences on roblox earn their creators zero this is true um, th this is true, but, uh, it also goes with that marketing. Like, are you marketing your game? I could make the best game on Roblox and it could never get discovered because I don't have any bit of a fan base or I don't have any marketing skills or anything like that. And so, why that is, we need to take a closer look at very the Roblox true. Marketplace because it took me weeks to get my head around this. I'll let you decide for yourself what chance you think kids have of one. So, making a game in Roblox is easy. It's when you want other people to play it to reach those millions of Very, players that Roblox this, promised that your journey will start heading This is true. Uphill. This is true. If you want to figure out what to play on Roblox, it only shows you the thousand or so games out of its 20 million that have the most players right now. Another thing to that 20 million, I mean, once again, you get a game every time you make a new account, and there's probably even more than 20 million accounts on Roblox. There are no discoverability tools that you see the newest games or to help this new is true. designers the up and coming section still shows you games with thousands of players this is true roblox has a horrible way of getting new games to the public so new developers even developers like old people like me okay um it's very challenging like i have a fan base i have this youtube channel and another youtube channel and even with that it is hard to get a bunch of players on your game uh, and your game won't get noticed uh, on the platform until you have a bunch of players. So it's kind of like Twitch. For example, if you're streaming, 
in a game that has a thousand streamers and you have zero viewers, no one's going to scroll down all those thousand streamers to find you with zero. Uh, so I can't fault, fault Roblox for that, but I do wish there was a better way for Roblox to, like, help the newer games. But that's also hard because for every million games that are made, there's probably only 10 good ones um, that are actually, like, you know, thoughtfully planned out and everything like that. So if you're a kid trying to make games for Roblox, you have two choices. Oh, I want to see You can these. hustle and try and get your game in front of streamers or YouTubers. That's what I do. <laughs> or you can pay Roblox to advertise. I do this as well. And I don't know what point he's about to make on Roblox advertising your game for you, but it's it's not great. <laughs> the, the advertising on Roblox is, I would almost say borderline horrible. I just spent 300,000 Robux over the weekend, uh, probably a weekend or two ago, to uh, advertise Super Slayers, which is my new game, and we went up like 100 players. Now, this was 50,000, or this was 100,000 Robux Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, with a few different uh, sponsor strategies and advertisement strategies, and we only went up 100 players. So, uh, yeah, the, the second option here is just, you need to do this option all day, every day. But to buy anything in Roblox, you first have to convert your real money to the company's virtual currency. Robux. True. Developers on Roblox bid with Robux for ad slots in an auction. A system that is discussed by developers in forum threads as a gamble. With it is. With developers hoping Massive that the right gamble. game and the right ad, they'll grab enough players that their game ends up surfacing in the churning froth of the roblox market so all right i agree with roblox that point young developers is make anything reach millions of players earn serious cash and then the next thing it says is oh well i mean if you actually want people to play your game i guess you could give up. so so yeah i can see at this point uh like the main argument that he wants to make uh or that the title says anyways is how roblox is exploiting young game developers in the way of hey make a game for free and hope it gets a lot of players is is about where roblox is i can agree with this point that he's making now is hey you made a game now what how are you going to get this money from the players that you don't have so this point i can agree with but saying i don't know dude i still think roblox is for hobbyists more so than professional game developers um i think i i would have to say that there's a reason for example like people who make games on i don't know unity or steam whatever don't come over to roblox like these massive development teams don't come to roblox because it's not set up for professionals like you can only for example if you have a very very detailed high poly map it's gonna lag on these servers it's not set up for professional game developers and i think roblox overall is set up for hobbyists now how they market that i guess could be a little misleading or at least was before they changed that page us money but as duplicitous as it sounds we know this works because roblox has 20 million experiences made by its mostly young audience once again a game you get a game when you first make an account like i i just i can't agree with that one because i don't know how many are actual experiences now there could be that many and then you know 50 million more that are the experiences that you auto get. I don't know these numbers, but I just, uh, you do get a game every time Even you make an account. Even I spoke to professional Roblox developers, they told me that kids should not expect to make money. I agree with that. I agree. I, I don't think anyone should expect to make money. I, I feel like I can barely expect to make money on the platform. Um, I can because I have a fan base and you guys do play my games and then that brings other people in you guys tell your friends and that's super dope but as a kid yeah I definitely don't think uh money is where Roblox should be trying to target them so I guess in that sense yeah um at least exploiting their mind <laughs> like to uh hey you're gonna be rich if you make a game that's a bit of a of an understatement but it's the same as a clickbait video uh, hey guys, watch this video and win $10,000. And then the video is like, hey guys, fill out these surveys and you have the chance to win, you know? So I, I could see where Roblox is like, hey, we need to grab the attention of the young or of the young audience and get them to make games. Cool. But uh, it it's a weird line there. Whether you're getting kids to make games for the passion of it and for learning, or you're getting kids to make games and like, in a kid's mind, promising them millions. So 
I definitely see where they're coming on for that point. I don't think it's a smart thing for Roblox to do to advertise to kids to say they're going to make a lot of money. Uh, but once again, you need that that headline. Uh, you're never going to see a newspaper article like, Guy finds a dollar at Wendy's. You're going to see one saying, Guy found $20,000 at Wendy's. You know, so the headline's pretty important to, uh, to get interest. Yeah, I don't think it's really possible for young developers to succeed on the... Four, four years of experience, I do want to say, because he said he talked to, did he say professional developers? I don't remember what he said, but if he did, um, and no offense to this guy, but I don't know who he is, um, Amani, Amani, I don't know, and four years of experience, um, I'm at about two to three years of experience and would not call myself a professional developer. I still think I'm a hobbyist um, who tries to make money. It's never guaranteed, but uh, through learning and learning, you're definitely going to find ways to at least make a little bit platform anymore it's really hard to get into those top 200 games it is it, sometimes i think of making roblox games as trying to make a viral tiktok or a viral meme experience. it's really tricky uh there's pretty much only one big market to shoot for on roblox right now and that's kids if you don't uh, hit that demographic just right and if you don't get your gameplay loop just right you fail Later in this video, we're going to get to why it benefits Roblox Corporation to have hundreds of thousands of developers making games for the platform. I'm interested. He's got me hooked. The odds are stacked against them. But first, let's go back to that question of why it's so hard to make money on the Roblox marketplace because we're not done. Let's He's imagine excited. you actually made a game that beats the odds and becomes a All small right. hit. And now your game has thousands of players who are making inexperienced purchases with yep. Robux. Roblox takes I'm a following. 30 cut of every transaction on their platform and then you actually get paid the rest in robux which yes. of course isn't real money you can only spend it in roblox you want to get paid you want to withdraw that money as actual cash now here's the bit that i think is just super shady if any roblox user wants to take robux back out of their account and put it in their bank account as actual currency the minimum withdrawal amount is 100 000 robux all right if that's the party finds shady, I was expecting he was going to say something about how 100,000 Robux only gets you $350, which is a massive cut considering the, it'd be equivalent to $1,000 uh, if you were to buy it, I believe. And I think uh, having the mi minimum withdrawal of 100,000 is like a, a thing businesses have to do. For example, on YouTube, if you don't make $350 in a month, or at least it used to be 350 It might be 100 now. I'm not sure what it is. But if you don't make $350, you don't get paid until you hit that mark. So I think uh, it's to save because, like, maybe every transaction has a fee. And if you mark it, hey, you need 100000 to make a transaction, then you can limit that fee. I think that would be uh, kind of what happens. Valued at around 1000 US dollars. If you make $900 worth of Robux selling stuff you've made, your real life paycheck will be zero dollars. Oh, and also, you can't withdraw anything Until unless you're you first make... paying for a Roblox monthly premium subscription. That's true as well. Now, let me make this part Which isn't exactly awesome. Clear. This is a choice that Roblox Corporation has made. Entropia Universe, the world's only cash-based MMO that we did a video on last year, has a minimum withdrawal amount of 100 US dollars. In Second Life, it's just 10. US dollars. In making the minimum withdrawal amount so high, Roblox is just increasing the chances that you won't hit that cap and so we'll just plow the money back into Roblox. I could see this. I don't know how big the other platforms are that he was talking about, but if we take that number of having, we'll just go with what they said, 20 million experiences. Uh, if we were to have 20 million people trying to take out five or ten dollars, there's probably a fee for each transaction and uh, of course, with that many transactions, things would get pretty messy. So I can see why they said it's so high. But I do agree with this point that since players may not reach this, they're more likely to go spend their Robux back on the catalog or advertising their game in hopes to make more. Uh, so I agree with this point right here. Whether that's buying games or cosmetics or saving up to advertise your next game. Lots of Roblox developers even use their Robux to pay other Roblox developers to work on their game. And if they're not smart about how they pay these developers, Roblox will take a cut of that paycheck too. But for now, let's just... They, they almost... Whether you're smart or not, they always take a cut. So 
if it's going unless it's going straight into your group but if you have to put money into your group they take that cut uh if you have to pay him with a shirt they take that cut so roblox will always always find a way to get their cuts like a hundred percent just imagine that you make a game and it's a hit and you do make it to there we 100, go thousand robux so you're allowed to withdraw I don't know, dude, 100,000 Robux, like, it's a lot, but when you're actually developing games, if you monetize them right, it's not exactly too hard, and I might get some shade for saying that, but, uh, it's just, it's not. If you can get your game streamed by one person, okay, let's say that streamer has 25 viewers, alright, 10 of them come play your game, 10 of those viewers are telling their friends, say there's 20 on the game now. Say five of them spend Robux, and then those people tell their friends, and then their friends see what they bought for Robux, and now they want it. Like, a hundred thousand is a lot, but it's not a lot if, uh, if you have a good monetization strategy in the game. Or finally, to your real life bank account. There you we see, go. Roblox buys Robux from users at a very different rate than it sells them. So withdrawing one hundred- Isn't that just business, though? Can we- can we penalize, like- if I go buy a new motorcycle and I plan on flipping this or a house, we'll say a motorcycle, all right? I buy a motorcycle for a thousand bucks. I fix it up. I sell it for 5,000. Whose fault is that? Mine for selling it so expensive or theirs for selling it so cheap? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think this part's just Robux business. doesn't get you a thousand US dollars. It gets you 300 which is low. Think about it. Fully if your agreed. assets in Roblox become substantially devalued only at the moment you take them out of the platform, why not keep them on the platform in case you need them one day? And so tons of Robux because don't we... ever make it off the platform. Instead, they just go round and round. I'm calling cap on this one. If you get enough to developer exchange, you're doing it. There's nothing cooler, even if it's 350 bucks, than saying, hey, like I'm a developer and I'm making money from it. I don't think there's many people, and I could be proved wrong with this, but I doubt there's many people that have made 100,000 Robux and then decided to keep them on the platform because $350 isn't enough. I genuinely, no. Uh, I, if you make enough to DevX, I'm sure you DevX. That's, Roblox taking cut that's it. The cut. And so while on paper, Roblox developers get that 24.5% of a game's sales, in reality, it's even lower. If we look at Roblox's published records, we can read that for every $1 Roblox earns in bookings, only 17 cents make it back out of the ecosystem to develop. That's business. Isn't this like margins or something? Like if I wholesale, say I, I, I build a product. I built an iPhone. It cost me a dollar to build. I'm now gonna sell this iPhone for five dollars to walmart okay and then walmart is gonna sell what they bought for five dollars for twenty dollars I, I don't understand this like that's just business overall in my in my mind our best guess as to what developers are getting the platform is actually so opaque that even full-time professional devs who've been doing this for years do not know what fraction of the pie they're taking. Like you just have to roughly estimate it based off of like those exchange rates and that's all you get. And by the- That's such a vague response. Like who is this guy? <laughs> Guys, Roblox is pretty clear. Hey, they take 30%. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 30%. I said it's pretty clear and then pretty sure, but um, they take 30% off the top of like every purchase if i make a shirt that costs ten dollars or ten robux i'm gonna get seven robux and roblox is gonna take that thirty percent so there's a cut they take um the devx rate of course there's that cut where you could get a thousand dollars but you get 350 that's business it is what it is and uh i do think it'll go up uh later on in uh in life but we don't know when way the lack of regulation in today's tech sector is seeing a lot of historically illegal practices coming back again with a new lick of pain Ro how do we let's see let's see Roblox paying people in robux is very very similar to historical mining and logging camps in the united states paying people in companies grip differences or let's let's go ahead and see his definition of script was currency invented and manufactured by these companies that could only be used to buy things within the company's camp for example in the stores that they would build yep. the mining camps like paying people in script for the same reasons that roblox does one it means workers spend their money at the company which makes the company richer two workers become more afraid of breaking company rules because companies can take away their ability to spend this this is a bit different though 
Um, we can count Robux as Scrip, but I believe back when you got paid with Scrip, um, for mining and whatnot, blah, 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 you could not change that out for real life money. It was just what it is. So let's say Roblox, they pay you your Robux for making a game, selling your game passes, and then what, you just get the Robux? No, they do have a developer exchange, uh, which lets you get real money. So I can't really agree with this exact point right here. And the script, essentially confiscating their paycheck. And three, Roblox does do that. makes it harder for workers to quit their jobs because the moment they do, they get poorer. Unbel this, I can't agree with this either because uh, if we quit, say I quit being a developer, okay? And I have my script, my Robux, say I quit being a dev and I have a million Robux. I can still trade out those Robux if I quit being a developer. Um, it's not like they're just unusable when you quit your job. Uh, so I, I can't agree with that point either. Unbelievably, these camps would have booths where you could exchange your script for US dollars. Oh, they did. But the exchange rate hurt the worker. Okay. Just so yes, with this, I didn't know you could actually exchange script for like US dollars. Interesting. But uh, still, I don't think it overly hurts the worker, aka us, um, since we're getting that lower cut. Because at the end of the day, what is the value in a Roblox item? Like a limited, uh, nothing, you know? So I, I can't really... Like we'll Roblox. We'll see. Script so messy. He's making some, some fair points, though. Money ...that it was banned in the United States in 1938. And until we let no more script again in the digital age, Roblox is going to keep paying developers with pretend money. Okay, ads. When the question of whether Roblox is treating its designers fairly comes up, and it does come up, you can find long threads on the official forums with all the developers banding together to ask or really beg for a more fair profit share. All right, so first off, Bereza, if this is the guy who made Miners Haven, um, I love his games, but I don't like him. <laughs> I'm saying it, it's public, it is what it is. He kept trying to start beef between developers and star creators for absolutely no reason. Anyways, that's off the point of the video. Why did it just turn so dark? Ugh. You always Anyways, there's always gonna be people asking for more money. Um, whether that's uh, being paid unfairly or just because you want more money. Who doesn't want more money? If you have a job making 15 an hour, of course you're gonna ask to make 16 an hour. Like, there's no, like everyone always wants more money because that's what the world revolves around. So I, I don't know if, uh, if bringing up a bunch of articles about developers asking for higher DevX rates is fair to the platform, but of course, yeah, everyone is always gonna want more money. In fact, whatever cut this guy got for making this video, he probably wishes it was 5% more, you know? Something like that. Always see the same two things. You'll see Roblox posting a super corporate and disinterested response that sort of ends the discussion without having it, but you'll also see people saying that devs asking for more money is silly because Roblox has never been a profitable company. It loses I have money seen that. every single year, and so there's no more money to give out. That is bollocks. Bullocks. But don't take my word for it. Take the word of the market analysts who have decided that as a money-making machine, yeah, Roblox, Roblox is worth somewhere. Roblox is no in no way losing money. Uh, Roblox is definitely a profitable organization. So that uh, counter argument is nuts. But uh, I will say, we can always ask for more money, and we always will, but... Uh, yeah, he, he's definitely moving away from this point that I had a personal uh, argument with about Roblox exploiting kids, and now it's more so Roblox exploiting everybody. Um, do I think they are? I think they could pay us more, but what business is not going to pay its workers? Like, that's why there's a minimum wage here in America. I'm not sure how it works everywhere else, but in, in America, there's a minimum wage. And there's a lot of companies that will go that minimum wage and not pay workers more than that, even if it's deserved. So Roblox is just like the real world in that case. Like, that's why you see, even in the real world, everyone's like, raise the minimum wage. We need more money. Raise the minimum wage. Like, <sighs> Roblox is paying us a minimum wage. And it's our job to accept that, or it's our uh, option to accept that job or decline that job. You know, go find one that pays more than minimum wage if you don't like it. That's how I see it. Somewhere around the value of seven Ubisofts. That is the awesome. Like I, I'm, I'm proud that Roblox is broke. <laughs> no more money to give out. Is a 
repulsive. Roblox it is, is a, just a doing silly the same idea. thing as companies like Spotify, Uber, and Airbnb, something known as platform capitalism. All of these companies have business models based on unsustainable expansion, always moving into more countries, hiring more staff, increasing their expenses until this video is real interesting. The market sector and all of its data and can use this monopoly to make incredible money, as we saw with Facebook and Amazon. If Roblox by no means am I saying Roblox is not making money guys Roblox is definitely uh wow they're up there okay they're gonna be all right uh but but yeah once again minimum wage they're paying us a minimum wage we chose the job and we can quit at any time with no uh no real for example if I quit being a developer on my resume it's not gonna be like oh you only had this job for two weeks and then you quit what happened um it's just there's not really that many repercussions if you quit. wasn't losing money other than you have to find year, a new job investors could reasonably turn around and say why not and so when roblox's developers come cap in hand asking for more revenue there's never any left even though the platform has 200 million monthly users and the ceo yeah roblox uh, i don't know if roblox has that argument of we're not profitable i doubt it but uh it's literally just this guys you're getting paid a minimum wage like it stay don't like it leave that's what it that's what it is CEO is a billionaire because if roblox were to give more money to developers that's less money it could spend growing the platform and becoming a monopoly we reached out to roblox corporation for an interview or Ooh. comment on how they treat their young developers. they had to have declined they did not let's take a moment to put a huge odds are um after because this video has a lot of traction after this video roblox probably did get back to them um but it's kind of like a one-sided argument if you reached out to me and uh said by the way i don't have any people that work for me under this channel i don't have editors thumbnail makers anything like that this is just an example if if a company or or a, a youtube channel anything a media source reached out to me and said hey can we interview you about how you treat your workers no media is trying to shine a good light that's why all news sources headlines are always this guy got killed or um this tornado this it's always bad news on um on any media source that's why i don't personally watch the news i don't uh look through twitter trending and and news and all that because everyone's trying to get a negative headline to put someone else down so me reaching out if someone said hey row builder company could we interview you about how you treat your workers i'm also not responding to that because there's no chance that they're wanting an interview saying the row builder company treats their workers so great and you should go work for him that's just not how it works that's not what's getting the headlines or the views um i don't know if this if this video was called roblox is the best platform ever i, I doubt it would have pulled this much traction human face was it harder than you expected to make robot with your level that's definitely a big yes this is Emil. Emil. He said with your levels. Um, guessing that is an obby. Let's let's see what they say 11. here. 11. And he got his parents to send him to a special summer camp where he could learn to code for Roblox. And then he made a game all by himself. And the game flopped. And he ended up sounding like a disenchanted 30-year-old veteran in an 11-year-old's body. Even though Roblox says to encourage you to actually make games, the likelihood of you making a successful game is basically zero. I feel like this is where parents should come in. Um, yo, shouts out to this guy. If he can already code like a 30 year old, like this guy saying, yo, good job, my dude. I can't code at all. I have no idea if this little guy will see my video or not, but uh, shouts out to him for real. And shout out to the parents for letting him go to a camp that's going to excel his hobbies, okay? Um, but it's definitely a parent's job to, uh, hey, is my kid overworking? What are the odds my kid's actually gonna be like, you know, a millionaire or something? Uh, it's a company's job to get, let's say, to get these kids' attention, hence how Roblox does it. Hey, our top developers are making money, you could too. That's the company's job. It's your parents' job to say, hey guy, hey Timmy, listen, as great as this is gonna be, the real world sucks, and nine times out of ten, you will flop. You'll fall on your face, and that's how everything in the real world works. All right, Timmy? But, best of luck, it could work out great for you, and you could support us in our old age. All right, that's the parent's job, okay? It's kids, I'm still gullible. Of course kids are. If there's an, an option, hey, you could make millions. Yes, I'm taking it. 
And then it's it's like my parents' job, not anymore, guys. I'm I'm a whole man now. But it's my parents' job to say, hey dude, yo, this would be cool to do, but don't get your hopes up. Alright? So that's that. This is gonna be a really long video, by the way, guys. I'm, I'm, my bad. I don't know. Yeah, my bad. You always compete with the people that have lots of money and like be a problem if I showed you something because I'm trying. You compete with the guys who have lots of money. How did they get that money? From making a successful Roblox game. All of my games have been advertised from my past games or from a fan base that I grew on this YouTube channel. It's, they all started where you are. So I don't agree with that point. Trying to- uh, No, no, please uh, show me whatever you like. This is like a big game developer that has lots of success. Like the amount I'm interested. of people that they have means the bigger the success is. Yep. And that means that they get a giant spike. And even if the spike lowers, they still get they still go back up and it's just an infinite cycle of spikes that go up and down up and down when you're a small game developer you'll have that spike you come all the way down you stay down will you i want to and i don't want to make this sound like i'm hating on this kid all right once again huge huge um you know props to you for being able to code and all that stuff and giving it your shot i want to talk about this chart big game developers they go up they go down they go up they go down up 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 blah, blah blah and he said it's an infinite cycle it's not once your game becomes boring people aren't going to want to play as a small game developer small game developers are people that are just starting okay people that don't understand everything about games what's going to engage your players what's going to uh, keep them around what's going to make them come back like a daily reward something like that big game developers understand this and they understand why people are going to want to come back to the game over and over again so as a small developer you just don't have all of that in your mind yet and that is why your game spikes up because people are like hey new game let's check out what it is it spikes down because hey this game was boring and it sucked all right if we're going to just be honest that's why all of these small games if you have that spike all right, this is what I'm not saying if your game's always had no, nothing. If you get that spike as a new developer and then you drop off to nothing, your game sucked. It was boring. I'm sorry, but it had you to be said. You come all the way down, you stay down. It had down. to be said. Were you tempted to spend Robux on advertising your game after you made it? That, I didn't even have Robux, but I wish I did because then I could. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny. Okay, so this isn't funny, but the way he said it was just hilarious. Oh, were you tempted to spend Robux to advertise it? Yes, um, it's the same reason people buy lottery tickets, you know, you spend a dollar for a chance to win a hundred, um, so of course, of course you're gonna want to advertise it. You advertise it and maybe have a chance. The way he said that killed Adel's me dead. disappointment wasn't to do with whether <laughs> Roblox's revenue split was fair, he hadn't really thought about that concept, he was just upset that Roblox only shows its users games that have tons of fans. But the thing- Listen, another point right here. Why is Roblox gonna show 50 games that have zero players? Why do those have zero players? Because the games are trash. Why would the front page of my whole platform be a bunch of games that are trash to make my whole platform seem worse? It's, it's stupid. Like this argument right here is just dumb because bro, there's, if a game doesn't have players, there's a reason it doesn't have players. The game's probably bad. That's it. Because if your game is good, and you get one friend to play it, and that friend thinks it's good, and he's gonna tell his next friend, word of mouth, your game is gonna get players. Alright? Especially with online now, and Discord servers, and everything like that. Roblox, it's, it doesn't make any sense to put games with three players on the front page. First off, it makes your platform seem a lot smaller, and second off, there's a reason those games have three players. So I don't agree at all with this point either. Thing is... Roblox benefits from giving a very small fraction of its developers almost all of the money. Because those successful devs can then keep updating their popular games, or they can make new games, or they can go full time and- Roblox isn't giving these developers of big games all the money. Um, that's just a weird point, honestly. So, the big developers have a big player base. That big player base has big Robux to spend. And the players are giving money to the developers. Roblox, uh, you know, if my game has 100,000 players, Roblox themselves is not saying, hey, here's a bunch of money, keep it going. No, the player base is giving that money. And the reason these small games are not getting that money is because they don't have any players to spend money on the game. So I don't agree with this point either.
hire people to work for them. They can even become celebrities. Uh, I wanted to make this video to really tell you my story and give you my is honest that thoughts Minitune? on the I think this 8th is Annual Bloxy Awards. And interestingly, the only concession Roblox has made in recent years to do with giving developers more money gives even more money to the developers who were already making money. Experience What's this point here? Payouts is a new sliver of Roblox's revenue that this goes to the game. Bro, Roblox shut has up. <laughs> So he's saying premium payouts only help the top tier developers because the top tier developers know what they're doing. If my experience is boring and not keeping players long enough to earn those payouts, bro, this is another stupid point, bro. Subscribers play for the longest. This is also Roblox Corporation tacitly encouraging its developers to make games that are addictive rather than fun, but the way that Roblox encourages isn't bro this point's dumb this point's dumb it's dumb it's getting worse and worse like I feel like they could have stopped this video at 10 minutes and had a fair video uh but they wanted filler and they wanted to make it seem worse this point is dumb everywhere you go in the world the goal is addiction and it sucks but that's the truth look at it people are addicted to alcohol which is a horrible thing addicted to cigarettes horrible thing addicted to drugs Horrible thing. People get addicted to gambling. Um, you know, some people are addicted to like, like stealing or there's a lot of negative things that are addictions. There's like, well, I guess we don't need to get into habits, but you know, addictions. And, um, that's how these huge, um, corporations, let's just go with cigarettes. Nicotine is addictive. So if they don't make, if they don't make cigarettes addictive, how are they going to sell the next pack? Um, if you don't make your game addictive, how are you going to get your players to come back? The whole world is addictive, and I think this point is pretty stupid. It's used to make games that are manipulative would be a whole other video, and I'm going to stay on topic. Here's games Me professor too. and labor activist Ty Underwood on why Roblox would be trying to empower its most successful developers and ensure the rest have no power. I'm interested because this comparing it to YouTube, you and I know of many YouTube channels where it's like, oh, well, I'm actually a boss with employees now. And so are all the top Roblox games. You can't organize bosses. Their interests do not align with workers. The workers power comes from having the ability to stop production and all bosses everywhere. Uh, it is against their interests to stop production. That does What was the point there? Um, Cause this is the same. Uh, of course, I'm a developer and a YouTuber. I don't have people working under me. However, that is a plan for later on if my development team ever grows to be a massive success. Of course, I'm gonna hire people to make less work for myself. Cool. What's the point there? If you have a, a factory that makes pencils, the boss, of course, the, the person who owns the factory doesn't say, hey, stop making pencils. And if you quit making pencils, you get fired and the next one comes in. I, I think I just missed whatever point they were trying to make. As track with my experience, I reached out to one extraordinarily successful Roblox developer for this piece, and they did agree to speak to me on the condition that we didn't reveal their identity, saying, quote, Despite some Interesting. fair criticisms, we have a good working relationship with Roblox, and I wouldn't necessarily want to be directly featured. Or I bet this is Breza. I bet it's thing. Breza. He's always trying to start some drama. I asked that same anonymous developer what message they'd like to get out to Roblox's young developers. They told me, On Roblox, many young devs crunch and burn out. They're not privy to ongoing dev community discussions about healthy working practice. My advice would be to not overwork. Don't feel pressured to work long days, especially as a young person. And agree with this. Um, oh, and lower your expectations. Let's go with it. Lower your expectations. There are millions of experiences on Roblox and only a handful become top games. Make sure to have fun, even if only a few people play your game. I don't think a single thing right there was bad. Uh, in fact, it goes along with what I've said the whole time. Roblox is for hobbyists. And um, if you make it to the top, congrats. You're on the top and now you're a professional. Uh, I, I agree with that. Uh, but I don't think Roblox puts that mindset on you to, to burn yourself out. Uh, they say, hey, you can make games and you can make money. Uh, but they don't say, hey, if the game's not made in two days, you're not going to earn anything. So I, I don't, I don't really, um, I don't know what they're Just trying to say here. one problem with getting those messages out to young game developers. Roblox is a publicly traded company, which means it has a legal oblig- I own two shares. <laughs> to maximize profits and kids working too hard with unreasonable expectations isn't bad for the company and this is the heart it's not the company's job to make sure the kids aren't working too hard 
But anyways, we progress. Let's go. Roblox's success. In convincing its young users that making money on the platform is possible, it, it is. gets hundreds of thousands of young people pouring their imagination and spirit into making the next big Roblox. But if it's a crappy game, you're not going to get money. Uh success story and while by my estimation 99.9% .9 of them flame out and make no money at all that doesn't affect Roblox's bottom line. I just don't know if I'm missing the point of the video but I don't understand this what he's trying to say. Hey if uh if, if you, your game sucks it doesn't affect me that's like bro if I don't know if you work at my pencil factory and you broke your toe you can still make pencils. I, I don't I don't know dude. One. Here's Genya again talking about his experience in the Roblox official internship program. For instance, in my class. I want to talk about how they got, um, if this is a massive video. How many subs do they have, by the way? 335k. So, if you go up to pretty much any developer and say, hey, we have a bunch of subs, we're working on a story. Uh, it's weird how they only got two opinions in this video. Class, two developers. I was the only person that released a game, and that game was the only game from the whole class that actually did well. And we had like I gotta rewind. For instance, in my class, I was the only person that released a game, and that game was the only game from the whole class that actually did well. Guys, he said he's the only one that released a game, and that's the only game that did well. Duh! If if there's ten games and only one releases, the other nine didn't release. How can they? What? That's not even, bro. I don't know. And we had like seven thousand people online. The other and ones so didn't it's release. It's kind of rare for those games to actually work. But then if some young wonderkind does make the next great thing on Roblox, there is nothing to stop an older team of developers taking the idea, refining it, re-releasing it, and then advertising. That's fair. This is a fair point. Roblox, uh, <laughs> this is going to sound bad. Roblox, in a way, does uh, empower copying. Uh, their slogan's empowering imagination, but these copies of games do better than original games for a few reasons and one of them that's directly roblox's fault uh and it has good intentions but bad outcomes you may also like is a sort so uh if you play clicking simulator and then clicking simulator 7 comes out they're gonna show you clicking simulator 7 after you played clicking sim so roblox does empower copying that's why there's 50 hundreds of games that are the exact same with a reskin because that's what works in fact i made an original game uh a bit back in the day completely flopped it didn't get any traction nobody liked it nothing happened and it's just like that but kids they like that familiarity too so you make a reskin of a popular game that's not being updated anymore and then kids are like yes i can still do my favorite thing but i get like an, a whole new experience so this is like a blessing and a curse, uh, a two-sided sword, I guess. But whether young developers find success on Roblox or not, the platform benefits from young developers training themselves up before they've realized that the odds are stacked against them. And once they've done that, they're that much less- Doesn't? So the point here, Roblox, uh, the younger developers training themselves up before they realize that it's a bit harder than they thought. Um, first off, that's life. As a kid, you're like, oh, I want to be an adult. Once you're an adult, you're like, ugh. Can I please be a kid? Secondly, they're training themselves up. They're gaining skills that they could take to another platform if they wanted to. So, um, that's, that's what it is. To walk away. You can't take your game anywhere else. If I'm on Steam, be your- Pause. Pause. Piggy. Guys, Roblox Piggy game. Okay? Made by Minitune. Massive success. You can go to Target and Walmart and find Piggy toys. I'm pretty sure there's a, a Piggy Steam game now. So he has ported his game over and made like there's a merchandise he's in stores um like a massive success outside of roblox so i don't know uh when they took these clips but yes you can most definitely take your game other places do you have to recode it to fit with that platform yes but you can most definitely take your concept other places theoretically i could move my game to some you know epic or try to make a deal with apple or something like that but once you're in roblox you, it is impossible to extract your game or your work or even your skills from roblox because it's such a idiosyncratic system to work wow idiosyncratic bro i have no idea what that means to say the least but um i could say for coding 
I don't know too much about it. So Roblox, you code in Roblox Lua. I don't know how easy that is to translate to normal Lua, Python, uh, any other language. I don't know. But building, you could definitely take all those skills to another platform. Where, like you're learning Blender um, and probably some stuff like a lot of platforms work the same as Roblox. You know, you use parts and you scale them and put them in different spots. So I think building wise, you'd be OK to move on to a different place. Of course, you have to learn a new program, but that's to be expected. You had to learn Roblox um, coding. I, I can't speak on that because I don't know about it too much. Quef. And this is but that also goes to my point saying, hey, Roblox gives you everything you need to be successful. So that's that's kind of my counter argument. Like they're giving us everything. So how are they exploiting us? Um, that's so infuriating for me, because if Roblox was actually operating with care for its young audience, it could be a great thing for the games industry. Free tools to get kids messing around and making stuff that their friends can come and play also for free. That's awesome. That anonymous developer who spoke to me. It is free tools that you can make games for free and your friends can play for free. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's like your choice as a developer to, uh, to, to sell stuff to your friends, basically. Uh, at that point, we'll see. Told me that they wished Roblox had been around when they were a kid and trying and failing to make games in Flash. But that's not what makes Roblox. What makes Roblox money? Bro, he just said, he said a well-known developer said he wishes Roblox was around when he was a kid. So as a kid, he could work on games and try to learn this stuff. Then, then how is your argument Roblox is exploiting kids? Like we have developers that are my age or older saying, hey, if this was around when I was a kid, I would have been so happy. Like, I think that's the, the main point here. Like we want this, like we, we would have loved this when I was younger. If I could have been learning this stuff, I'd be further and more successful than I am now. Um, so, so I don't know. It is empowering kids to become workers with unreasonable expectations of what they can achieve. So biggest thing on the whole argument, Roblox clickbaited kids. Cool. I can agree with that. Roblox gave a headline. Kids grabbed it. Is that exploiting? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Anyways, let's get on back to it. In a way that would be illegal if it wasn't happening online. I, I missed what he was saying here. So with unreasonable expectations of what they can achieve on this platform. In a way that would be illegal if it wasn't happening online. Would it though? Would it though? Because if I work, let's go back to the pencil factory. And I am a pencil assembler, okay? When I first get this job, they're gonna tell me, hey, you could make this much. Now, whose numbers are they phrasing? Probably the management or the CEO, whatever you could get promoted to. If this was real world, it's the same thing, right? So your company is saying, hey, you can make games. We're giving you this opportunity. And you could do more in the future. You could make more in the future as you go up through the company. Is that not the same as, hey, we're going to give you the stuff to make games. You could make money. You could make a lot more as your games get better, as your gameplay loops, your mechanics, everything gets better. I, I feel like that's the same as what companies do. So I'm not entirely sure on what point he's trying to make. So what can we do about it? I'm the question of whether or not it is like possible to do labor organizing with children productively is like a really bizarre question with much older young people. This is also like a third person, by the way. I'm so. just like only now introducing the idea that your boss may have interests that diverge from your own in some cases, right? And this is mind blowing. I think the answer in this case is that it should just simply be regulated that Roblox cannot have people sell within their games, right? If, they're, if their audience is largely children. And that's not usually what I reach for because- uh... So what, <laughs> what? So a platform, Roblox says, hey, you can make games and you could make money. The only way to, to stop them from exploiting kids is now to say, hey, you can make games, but you don't get nothing. You can't make any money. You can still make games, but you don't get anything in return. Only we do. That would be exploiting children. I don't know if I missed his point, but it sounds like he's saying, hey, you could still make a game, but if kids play your game, which mostly kids do, you can't make money. If you're a kid making games for kids, where's the problem in the money there? I don't, I don't know. Uh, top-down regulation doesn't build worker power, but like in this case, it's like, it, it, they're kids. <laughs> it's what's going on here. It's a very weird and scary situation. And what about a- So this man that he was talking about, was probably is this a is this a developer? I, I can't even I'm not gonna go into that point because I don't know his background. 
Emil, our 11 year old game developer. What does he think should be? Interesting. Do you think that kids should be encouraged to try and sell things on Roblox? I think that kids should be encouraged. Yes. But they shouldn't be lied to about how hard how easy it is because it's not easy but the one thing we know for sure is that roblox is not going to legislate itself in a way that affects its ability to make money roblox is why why are we why are we saying hey you could make games if 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 if, if i worked at this pencil factory and they said hey you can make pencils you probably won't make any money i'm not going to start the job like there's there's always a chance life is a chance you know you could die tomorrow uh i, I don't uh I don't know. It's good. They should advertise that you can make money. Um, I don't, I don't overly think they, they make it seem super easy and they might make it seem a little easier than it is, but you have to, you know, I, I don't know. It's going to continue doing everything it can to scratch revenue out of its young, vulnerable audience, no matter whether they're getting fair pay, good, flash good for their health or whether they're fully empowered to war. All right. Your health, uh, or we'll start with it's good pay. It's good pay for what we're doing. Roblox gives you all the tools you need. If you don't like it and you don't like to pay, go to a different platform. That's my opinion. I would have loved to be on this video um, and have like an actual conversation with this guy to see if I switch sides or anything, but I don't think I would. Um, fair for your health. That's your parents' job. Um, I know when I'm playing Black Ops 2 on my Xbox 360 and cussing people out when I was like 15, I got grounded. I got told to get off. They unplugged the internet. Like guys, if you, if your parents aren't making you or watching out for your health, I mean that that is what it is. That's not Roblox's issue. Away. Thank you very much for watching. This All right, video. so we wrapped it up. Now, guys, fair points. Here's what we're gonna get into. I believe it's a fair point to say Roblox makes it seem like you're gonna make more money than you probably will. But once again, uh, that's just kind of like the same thing as clickbait. Like, hey, here's a. Here's how to get $10,000 and then you got to go fill out, you know, 10,000 surveys or something. Uh, so I think that's a fair point. Is Roblox exploiting young game developers? I'd have to say no, because um, they're giving us everything. And, and I'm, I'm saying us because, I mean, I was a young developer. Um, they're giving us everything to make as much money as they're promising. Uh, Asimo and Bad CC, the people who made Jailbreak, I'm not sure what their background was before Roblox or how many games uh, they tried to make before Jailbreak, but Jailbreak was fully made on Roblox, and they are some of the people that are making the most money on Roblox, or at least was, and it was all made with this platform. So I think Roblox promises you exactly what you could get. They don't say, hey, I promise you're going to be a millionaire. They say, I promise you could be a millionaire. So I, I don't think they're exploiting kids. Uh, I think it was a decent video. I think a few things were stretched. But uh, as a Roblox developer myself, these are all my arguments to this video. And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. So if you guys did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you made it this far, comment potato chips in the comments, just so I know you stayed till the end, okay? It was a long one. But guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.